topic is the uh, city of Airdrie's uh, off-leash dog parks with gates and fences and now they're supposed to have locks and you can see here we have a super highway a super highway and a service road inches inches from the gated compound that means death and injury to humans and dogs if this gate is not kept in uh, in repair in January 2015 almost two years ago the story quickly is tensioner springs were loose to missing no latch no signs and my dogs entered the park January 28 2015 at about 2 p.m. and Lindsay ended up on the deer foot then down at the police station in the care of Constable Maury Karch. This is Richard Herbman reporting August the 9th, 2016 from uh, Kingsway Dog Park. And uh, I told Maury Karch, your gates are broken down at Kingsway. Said, I don't care. Relieve me of 55 bucks for... Lindsay the dog down there and a $250 ticket which he handed to me and the ticket was made out to my wife Suzanne Carew I then responded by writing letters to the city to uh, get the gates uh, repaired and uh, they refused to do so and that was in March so I issued them a letter saying I would sue them eventually I did officially sue them statement of claim Herdman and Carew versus the city of Airdrie and in July 2015 and resulting in new tensioner springs and a latch but still no signs and they still haven't withdrawn the $250 ticket. They've recommenced prosecution of that ticket in September 13th, 9.30 p.m. on Tuesday, 2016 in Airdrie Court. And my dogs, as I said, came into that end on 28th of January 2015, came down here, and because of the city's broken negligent gates, got out. Section 1001 of the city bylaw says no person or corporation shall willfully or negligently cause a gate to be left open and cause a dog to run at large. So that's a reasonable excuse and a defense to the 788 charge of dog being at large. So city, withdraw the ticket and keep your gates fixed. What's the policy anyway? Richard Herman reporting from Airdrie, Alberta, 9th of August, 2016.